Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to answer the question that everybody in the entire world never asked, which is, why are we not 3D printing our props for our drones or planes or anything that takes props? Because I ordered props, and I ordered like a whole bunch of props actually, but the issue with ordering stuff is that it's not here right now when I want it. So I'm 3D printing props. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Probably gonna be on this beast which is the one that I broke a prop on. Kakute F7, um, a 45 amp Teco 32 4-in-1 ESC. These motors that are on here now are these. Mars Power MX 1806, 2280KV, and it's on this pretty massive frame. It's supposed to be a 250 size, but it's bigger than a 250, and that's way taller than normal. I wish those standoffs were like half the size, and I'd be happy with it. Um, and I did just buy a new frame, uh, and new motors, and new pretty much everything, and my main drone will be a hell of a lot more badass than this thing as soon as the parts get here, but for now, this is what I got, and this is what I'm going to beat on. All right, they are all done. And I just got done scraping and cutting and sanding and trying to get these as smooth as freaking possible. That actually, it looks pretty terrible, but feeling it with my hand, it feels perfectly smooth. Like I sat here with a razor blade and I got these puppies as smooth as I possibly can. And now I put them on the drone, spin them up, and hopefully they don't just explode. They are printed, they are installed on the drone. I think this battery is dead. 3.9, close enough. Alright. Doesn't look like there's any crazy uh, vibrations or anything. Stabilize mode. Disarm motors. Arm motors. These work. <laughs> I should be doing this outside. Yeah, those work. Next step is to test them outside. Um, and it is seven o'clock at night. I need to charge my phone up a little bit and then go play with these outside. Uh, my phone died. For now, this is where the video ends. I'm gonna slap these up on YouTube and yep, you can 3D print blades. Now, obviously I didn't go crazy hard on them or do any like crazy aerobatics or anything like that, but proof of concept, they do work. They fly. I'm not that good to be able to do any like crazy aerobatics or any stuff like that, but I would be very interested to see somebody who can actually fly well go ham on some 3D printed blades so the rest of us can uh, know how they function. I got the STLs for these off of 
of Thingiverse, and I just typed in FPV drone preps, and they were the first ones that popped up, so you guys can go do them and print them too. And the filament that I used was Sunlu black carbon fiber, and the white was just some, some white I had laying around because I ran out of the carbon fiber. And I used a 0.1 millimeter layer height with 100% infill, 240 degree extruder, 80 degree build plate, a one line count skirt, support density of 5%, support line distance of two millimeters, support pattern was lines, support overhang angle was 50 degrees, uh, support placement was touching build plate, normal support structure, fan speed 100%, uh, I did not enable retraction, initial layer speed 25 millimeters per second, travel speed 120, support infill speed 60, support speed 60, wall speed 30, infill speed 80, uh, print speed 60 millimeters per second. So yeah, I guess I got a lot more experimenting to do, but for now, proof of concept is proven. These will work. You can 3D print drone blades. So that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day.